right, Purple family, let's get ready to sing our song. One and two and three. We've been waiting for you to come to this place. Waiting for you to come to this place. Wherever you're from, we're glad that you've come. We've been waiting for you to come to this place. All right, Purple family, let's take a look at the calendar. And there is something, a couple things new. It is not April anymore. It is May. This month is May. And it is May 1st. And it is Friday. So we have a whole new month. And in this month, two things happen. Right here, you see a little heart. I put a heart because that is Mother's Day. So you get to celebrate your mom on that day. And then there's one more, this one way down here on the 25th of May, that's Memorial Day. Memorial Day is when we remember um, people that have fought in the war, veterans. Veterans are your army guys and your navy guys and things like that who have helped us to stay safe in our country. So that is Memorial Day. So we will be looking forward to those. So it is May 1st. And we have a couple things, our prayer. Um, when me and Miss Susie and Miss Alexa are here, we start talking a little bit and visiting, and we always end up laughing. And just know that, I know it's kind of scary because things aren't the same right now. Not maybe even scary, just different. But it's okay to laugh and it's okay to have a good time. And that's what we like to do sometimes down here. You don't get to really see that on film a lot, but we do we do giggle and talk about silly things. So just be, we're gonna have a little prayer that says we're grateful for things to laugh about with our family and friends. So five fingers here, five fingers there. Put them together and say a quiet prayer. Dear Lord, thank you for our family and friends that we can laugh with. Amen. All right, we have our pattern here, and I told you I was going to make it a little bit harder. So this one, it's different colors only because I couldn't find all the same color Unifix do. So this pattern is small, medium, large. Small, medium, large. Small, medium, large. Or maybe you used other words, tiny, big, bigger. That is our pattern. Whatever words you use, that, that works. So we're going to check out the what's inside bag next. Because Susie's always putting tricky things in here. It's kind of heavy. A little bit heavy. Mm -hmm. It's heavy and long. Hmm. Heavy and long. All right, first clue. It helps hold papers together. Second clue, it's from the art shelf. Number three, it's black and silver. Hmm, holds things together from the art shelf, black and silver. Miss Susie says it's heavy. What could be in that bag? No, stapler. Yeah, all right, that's Miss Susie's. All right, we're gonna sing some songs. We're gonna do the phonics. Miss Susie's gonna make you a pineapple slushy. So first we're gonna stand up and sing songs. All right, so one and two and three. When I was one, I had some fun on the day I went to sea. I jumped aboard the pirate ship and the captain said to me, oh, you go this way, that way forward, backward, over the deep blue sea. When I was two, I tied my shoe on the day I went to sea. I jumped aboard the pirate ship and the captain said to me, oh, you go this way, that way, forward, backward, over the deep blue sea. When I was three, I skinned my knee on the day I went to sea. I jumped aboard the pirate ship and the captain.
Captain said to me, oh, you go this way, that way, forward, backward, over the deep blue sea. When I was four, I slammed the door on the day I went to sea. I jumped aboard the pirate ship and the captain said to me, oh, you go this way, that way, forward, backward, over the deep blue sea. When I was five, I found a beehive on the day I went to sea. I jumped aboard the pirate ship and the captain said to me, oh, you go this way, that way, forward, backward, over the deep blue sea. All right, our next one is Miss Polly, so get your babies. You ready? One and two and three. Miss Polly had a dolly who was sick, sick, sick. She called for the doctor to come quick, quick, quick. The doctor came with his hat and his bat and he knocked on the door with a rat-a-tat-tat. He looked at the dolly and he shook his head. He said, Miss Polly put her straight to bed. He wrote on a paper for a pill, pill, pill. I'll be back in the morning with a bill, bill, bill. All right, we're getting ready for Zoophonics, so stand up. And we're gonna start with our Sally Alligator. Remember, she opens her jaws real wide and she says, Ah, ah, ah. And Bubba Bear, he reaches up for his honey and says, Buh, buh, buh. You can see the cat, she cleans her face and says, Kh. And Greedy Deer with two ears says, D, D, D. And Ellie Elephant grabs that peanut and says, Eh. Eh, eh. And then Francie Fish likes to swim and says, <sighs> and Gordo Gorilla peels a banana and says, G, G, G. And Honey Horse likes to run and says, <sighs> And any inchworm, get your inchworms out, he likes to inch around and say, eh. Eh, eh. And very jellyfish in the ocean. J, j, j. And K.O. Kangaroo likes to kick and say, k, k, k. And Lizzie Lizard on her log says, oh, oh, oh. And Missy Mouse eats her cheese and says, mmm, mmm, mmm. Way back down here was Nigel Night Owl and his big eyes, and he says, mmm, mmm, mmm. And Olive Octopus in the ocean says, ah, ah, ah. And Speedy Penguin, get your Speedy Penguin, your feet together, and he says, puh, puh, puh. And Queenie Quail with her little top knot says, Robbie Rabbit says, er, er, er. And Sammy Snake likes to slither and says, sss, sss. And Timmy Tiger grabs onto the bars of his cage and says, t, t, t. And Amber Umbrella Bird holds your umbrellas and gets your wings, says, uh, uh, uh. And Vincent Vampire Bat with his fangs says, mmm, mmm, mmm. And Willy Weasel, remember he likes to wiggle and say, wah, wah, wah. And Xavier Fox says, x, x, x. And Nancy Ass on the phone says, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the last one, remember? Hi guys, 
so what we're going to be doing today is going to be doing a little fruit slushy so you can enjoy at home. We're going to go over the steps. Number one, pour one cup of fruit, uh, fruit juice in the blender. Number two, add one can of pineapple chunks. Number three, add two cups of ice pieces. And number four, blend the mixture. So we're going to get ready to do that. Okay, let's see. Pull this off. There we go. Pour one cup of fruit juice in the blender. And here's my one cup of fruit juice. There we go. Just like that. And number two, add one can of pineapple chunks. Here are my pineapple chunks with a little bit of juice still in them. All right. Now we're going to add two cups of ice pieces. And here they are. Okay. And we're going to cover it just like that. And number four says blend your mixture. So here we go. A little loud, huh? Okay, let's see. That should be good. Let's pull this off. I have to move it around a little bit. Oh, it's pretty stuck in there. Let's see. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Got it. Ready? Then you just pour it on your little cup just like that and you can hear the ice and there you go. Finished product and you can enjoy it. Right, Purple Family, we're outside. We're on the bike path right by the mud pit that is slowly drying up. Um, we're on the bike path because it is made of cement and you can use your chalk to color on the cement with. So you, if you have chalk at home, Color whatever you want. Maybe make big designs and color them in. You can cover your whole entire sidewalk. You can make a flower if you'd like. Put some green. And I know something I really like to do is I have some water in this cup and I have my chalk in the water. When the chalk is in the water, this it hasn't been soaking very long, so I don't know, it might not work. It just kind of makes it feel a lot smoother, almost like paint. So you can do that. And then when you are all done, there's some pretty green you could add to that. When you're all done covering your sidewalk, you can get the hose and you could get a broom and you could wash it off and you can start again. All right, Purple Family, we're outside again, and we're going to read our book. This is Tough Boris. It's about a pirate. There he is on his boat. Once upon a time, there lived a pirate named Boris Vonderborch. So the pictures, the words tell a story, and also in this book, the pictures tell a story. So he's got his treasure map. Him and his parrot are looking at the treasure map. It looks like his men are out here gonna dig up the treasure. He was tough. All pirates are tough. Find the treasure. He was massive. All pirates are massive. I'm putting the treasure on the boat. He was scruffy. All pirates are scruffy. Looks like they found the violin. He was greedy. Looks like he took all, most of the gold coins and just gave them a few. All pirates are greedy. See if someone's taking his violin. He was fearless. He's looking for the violin. All pirates are fearless. He was scary. All pirates are scary, but when his parrot died, there he is, the 
parrot died. He's holding the parrot. He's putting him in the violin case. He cried and cried. All pirates cry. And so do I. Put the little boy back. Hmm. All right, Purple Family, that's the end of our day, and we will see you next week for some new videos. We're going to get ready to sing the goodbye song. The goodbye song, Miss Susie's going to help out. Mm -hmm. So let's go. Let's get our clappers going. You ready? A one and a two and a three. Goodbye, Elodie. Goodbye, Parker J. Goodbye, Blaine. We're glad you came today. Goodbye, Sloan. Goodbye, Zach. Goodbye, Parker S. We're glad you came today. Goodbye, Dominic. Goodbye, Marcio. Goodbye, Weston. We're glad you came today. Goodbye, Ellen. Goodbye, Joshua. Goodbye, Katie. We're glad you came today. Goodbye, Trevor. Goodbye, Miss Susie, Miss Nikki, Miss Alexa. And the whole purple family, we're glad you came today. Bye.